What's up guys? It is nice Thursday afternoon and I just happen to walk up to my doorstep and I see this. Wow. Let's see, what is this? Who's by? Oh, Tony Mamo from Mamo Motorsports. I think I know what this is. Let's open it. Okay, so I hope you guys don't mind, but I went ahead and opened the top box already because I was a little excited. So, but I haven't opened this part of it, so let's go ahead and reveal the goodies inside. Cool. Mama Motors Mama Motorsports uh, drink holder. Um, Cooley. I definitely appreciate that. It's a very nice gesture, considering that I'm also an avid beer drinker. So. Cool. I'll review this later. <laughs> so here is the throttle body in question. This is the 87 millimeter stock ported throttle body um, by Mama, Mama Motorsports. And this is actually the V2 version of it, which apparently sees about 100 CFM of air, um, more air moving through the actual device itself. It's very, very well shaven, shaven down. Um, it's super thin. You can just tell by the just looking at visually looking at it. Plus, this, the the uh, middle bar in the middle is shaven down very very thin, which definitely looks as though uh, the claims of more airflow may be very accurate. So let's actually go ahead and open it, considering this is the official unboxing. Maybe I want to keep the plastic bag. Maybe. I'll just cut the tape for now. So, uh, three cards, of course. I don't know. And, yeah, as you can see, you've got the uh, embossed Mama Motorsports and LT1 in, uh, you know, motor in insignia. You can totally tell like, just how much of it was ported and just, just how in this is. Like, I'm really curious to know. Um, well, for sure, this this right here, this this effort right here is going to um, get rid of that dreaded dead spot. That's uh, in throttle response with the LT1 uh, motors and the Camaros and the Corvettes, you know, Corvette Stingrays. But yeah, like wow, look at how just it's so incredibly smooth and just unbelievably just slick. Yeah, look at, look, you can see just how thin, uh, oops. You can really see just how thin this thing is. I mean, if there's not more air flowing through this thing uh, with this version of the throttle body, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely much more refined than stock. But I'm gonna take my my throttle body off my Camaro right now to sort of, sort of show the differences. So I'll be back. Okay, so now that we're in better lighting, actually, you can see uh, they have a better uh, gander at the overall design of both throttle bodies. So the original, you can see that the there's more restriction on the airflow with this uh, this lip here, this opening. As you can see, which uh, Starts large at the top and then sort of tapers down, tapers off uh, near the bottom. With Tony's, uh, Anthony Mamo, owner of Mamo Motorsports, actually, obviously, um, that lip is shaven down considerably. You still have a ledge right here, a lip, but it's not nearly as prominent as it is here. And that definitely, um, definitely helps with airflow. And that makes more sense when you consider uh, the, the 100 CFM gain that you get with the V2 version of the A7 millimeter ported throttle body um, from Mama Motorsports. Makes more sense um, when you look at this here, this job here, as well as the obviously the uh, you know the blade here. Turning it on its side, you can see that the uh, they're basically identical. Um, body-wise, and that's because the Tony Mamo um, 
imported throttle bodies literally are G stock GM throttle bodies that have really just been ported, you know, off supported and approved. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see, the you know same GM logo, serial number, or, uh, model number, or serial number actually. I think that's what those are. Um, they're manufactured. I don't know what the manufacturer date is. Where it is? Oh, actually, it's right here. So this is the original throttle body. It came with the car. You can see, this is. Uh, this was manufactured in 2017. While this one, which is the V2 version of the Porto Throttle Body by Vitaly Mamo, this one is manufactured in 2019. So this one's a, a, actually a, a, basically a brand new throttle body for what it's worth. Um, probably came up with 2019 Camaro SS or a uh, 2019 Corvette. Corvette. Either way, yeah, that, 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 this is the reason why this is really just a plug and play application because it uses the same module here to connect to the uh, cable here and so the computer, the computer, the ECU literally doesn't know the difference between the two. All it knows is that there's more airflow coming in and it adjusts. So it's really a dead simple, no brainer uh, swap. You know, as opposed to sticking with the stock uh, style body. Um, I mean, who doesn't want more airflow? More airflow means, means naturally more horsepower, right? Okay, so now that we got the throttle body installed, it is time to do some real-world applications. Um, I'm going to be testing light up and throttle. I'm going to be testing uh, off idle, from a standstill, and of course, from a launch and from a dig. Oh, let's go ahead and do just a couple of pulls. I have a nice view of the ocean from my left side. That spot is completely gone. Um, I just, as soon as I, I touch the throttle, it's responsive as hell. If it does nothing else, I appreciate it 100% for that. Now that I'm cruising, let's go ahead and just tip it in just to see how responsive it is that way. Yeah, um, still though, the transmission, um, you know, drums around the gears when you depress the uh, throttle at a higher degree than normal. But that's just, you know, that's, it is what it is. I can't do anything about that. I'm going to um, put this in track because the throttle mapping does change each time you change the driving modes. So I want to see how the throttle body reacts to track mode. Right from the jump, that turn was kind of hard to make because my car was itching to just take off. Currently at 40, well, 34 miles per hour. So I'm gonna go in and just give it a, a light little sprint first to see what it's like in, in tour mode. Oh, I'm sorry, in track mode. And then we'll see what it's like to tip the barrel in slightly. Yeah, again, transmission, it's kind of holding, it's kind of bottlenecking the, the throttle body. The car is instantaneous in its, in its response, but the transmission, you know, then is just trying to think of what gear it should go into, then finally give me all the torque that I require. Me pressing in on the throttle versus the trans, you know, and the engine then taking an air, then you have the transmission that's just taking a sweet time to figure out where to be, have still have a little bit of delay in that regard. But in terms of just like throttle response, Throttle mapping, this throttle body is exactly how this car should come. I am indeed in track, as you can see. But now, I'm gonna put this in tour mode, actually, because I'm really curious to see how the throttle mapping reacts to the throttle, or how the throttle body reacts to throttle mapping in tour mode. Too. So tip-in is a, requires more effort, as usual, tour. Um, 
throttle mapping opposite paint. Uh, what I'm finding, actually, just with putting it in tour mode and just like having some little bit of tip in, is that the throttle body seems to be the most responsive. That's rather interesting. Um, I kind of know what it's like in sport, but I'm going to do try to do the sport right now. Give it a little, little um, throttle, little tip in. Yeah, still, tour mode is actually more responsive than sport mode with the throttle body, which is weird. But I guess it kind of makes sense at the same time. No, it actually doesn't make any sense. I don't know why. It just is. I want to see what it's, what how what wide open throttle is on track mode. So I, I put it back in track mode now. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just try to hammer on it just to see what happens. Yeah, uh, transmission. Really, it's it's it is holding this throttle body back. I mean, it, it's it's throttle body is ready to go. Literally, it's begging for the car to just pick up and go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in manual mode so that I can just bypass the transmission and just ship when I want to ship. I want to see how the throttle body responds. See, so much more response. Wow. So much better. If you're gonna use this throttle body, I suggest just doing it in manual. I know what gear I want to be in. I'm going to be in the right now. See, oh my gosh. Wow. It's just an insane, insane amount of pickup. It's just the responsiveness and the access to that torque. That low-end torque is just, it's definitely opened up the Tony Mamos uh, throttle bar. That's for sure. See, I'm in, I'm in third, I'm in fifth right now, actually. And Dude, even in fifth gear, this thing just like opens so wide. It's so amazing. Mind you, this is all bolt on with no tune. However, I do have a different air filter, like I mentioned earlier during the installation, thinner filter by KN. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of gains I get from a tune just from having those two knots, those two um, engine knots. I also do plan on doing E85, hoping that I get at least, and all of that, I get at least about 50 more pounds. Of course, I know that, obviously, I need to go full bolt on it to see some really big things. If I decide to never get a tune for this car with the startle body, honestly, I'm all smiles with just the way it, it responds and performs. But I do suggest, I highly suggest that you drive it in manual mode. I mean, obviously it's not practical for you to drive it in manual mode all the time because it isn't shiftable on that car. To get this level of responsiveness with just simply swapping out an original part, an OEM part, pants down, can't beat it. Well, that wraps up the review of the Mama Motorsports 87 millimeter ported throttle body for the 6th gen Camaro SS. It is beastly. It definitely is worth the money. I can't stress enough just how much the dreaded dead idle um, spot is. It's gone with this thing. And that alone is worth the money. I'm really curious to see what kind of uh, headroom I get and what kind of results I get with this thing when I decide to finally uh, tune every parameter of the car until then uh check back with me but you know hang tight and uh i'll see you next time